Hey Vita fans, this is the Vitality Weekly News Update featuring yours truly, Kyle from the Vita Lounge. Got a few minutes, I got a few updates, and the first one's a doozy. As I alluded, things start with an uh-oh, as hackers have now uncovered a full English translation hidden inside the Chinese version of Digimon World Next Order. Through the use of the Henkaku exploit system, an older version of the Vita's firmware, some gray area homebrew tools, and a copy of the Chinese subtitled version of the game, someone has uncovered that there are already a set of English subtitles hidden where nobody should have been able to find them. Inside the Chinese subtitled copy of the game is a full set of English translations which a user was even able to engineer back into the game and make it work using that exploit. This means that Bandai Namco has already had the English version of this Vita title and simply isn't going to release it on the Vita in the West opting for the PlayStation 4 version with some extra missions instead. Why can't they release this vanilla version of the title over here? We're not sure, but at this point they seem to be running out of excuses and players seem to be running out of patience. Over at the PlayStation blog, Jeff Revate writes that Minecraft console editions will be receiving a new DLC pack this October 5th. The Chinese mythology mashup pack features 41 new skins, 13 theme music tracks, and a special battle minigame map. The pack description is as follows. Quote, Explore ancient temples hidden among the cherry blossoms and survive the night at the Great Wall in the new Minecraft console edition Chinese mythology mashup. In this new mashup, you'll be able to visit the exquisitely created pre-made world. Wander through the streets of an ancient great city, marvel at the dragons that dwell around the high mountains, and contemplate your crafting within a mythical monastery, and just enjoy the view as you walk through fields and discover how mobs would look in ancient China." End quote. Does this sound good to you? Well then, more good news! All owners of the base game will also be receiving a free update, bringing long-awaited features such as... New mobs, new items, banners, new terrain generation, and lastly, new blocks. The Chinese Mythology Mashup Pack will be available for $4.99 on October 5th, rolling out alongside that free update. More good news, as Feline Arts have revealed that their upcoming platformer Suki and the Shadow Claw is indeed headed for the PlayStation Vita, with the title featuring the titular dragon Suki pitted against the fearsome wolves of the Claw Gang their evil leader Varg looking to control the world. Additional comments on the title's venture to our platform reveal that the game is targeting 50 to 60 frames per second and 10 second level loads, so it sounds like this baby is getting some reassuring polish and optimization. Suki and the Shadow Claw is headed to Vita at an as of yet unknown date, but you can be sure we'll be keeping an eye out now that we know. Straight from the latest weekly Famitsu, it seems that Rico Love will be getting a demo for both versions of the game this October, though the specific date hasn't been specified. Rico Love Blue Ocean and Rico Love Gold Beach are launching fully on the 20th, however, so before then is probably a good guess. Keep your eyes out, as we'll be sure to let you know when it hits. Or when they hit, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of demos, Square Enix has released an English demo for their upcoming Dragon Quest themed take on the block building universe, and you can grab it right now in both North America and Europe. Clocking in at around 226 megabytes, this newly released Dragon Quest Builders demo will allow you to try out the life of a legendary builder, returning the power of creation to the people, and rebuilding LF Guard in the wake of the Dragon Lord's destructive temper tantrum. Dragon Quest Builders is set to release October 11th in North America and October 14th in Europe. Demo available now. According to an email sent to NeoGAF member Vachetti, as well as many other players of the game, it looks like free-to-play Match 3 title Fat Princess Piece of Cake is beginning to shut down today and will go dark shortly after we enter 2017. The email notes that the title will be discontinued on January 1st, 2017 at 8 o'clock GMT, at which point you'll be unable to spend in-game gold of any type, earn the 30 gold reward for hitting level 15, or download the game from your library. That said, you'll be able to continue to play it in offline mode until you delete it from your console. As for immediate effects, it looks like in-game purchases have already been disabled, 
so keep your cash. Fat Princess Piece of Cake was originally released on the 13th and 14th of January 2015, meaning that the title will be going dark just under two years into its life. Rest in peace of cake, Fat Princess. Next up, new details for New Danganronpa V3, everyone's new semester of Killing Are Here, the first item on the docket this time round being a full cast list, though I'm only going to read their ultimate designations as that's all you really need to know for now. We've got the Ultimate Folklorist, the Ultimate Art Club, the Ultimate Maid, the Ultimate President, the Ultimate Cosplayer, the Ultimate Robot, the Ultimate Aikido Practitioner, the Ultimate Pianist, the Ultimate Astronaut, the Ultimate Nursery Teacher, the Ultimate Detective, the Ultimate Tennis Player, the Ultimate I Have No Idea, the Ultimate Magician, the Ultimate Entomologist, and the Ultimate Inventor. Okay, so now we've been introduced. When are we getting our hands on this puppy, and what versions are we getting it in? Well, I can tell you that aside from the 6400 yen standard edition, there will be a super high school level limited box edition priced at 12,400 yen. It'll include a custom illustrated exclusive box, an original anime Super Danganronpa 2.5 Nagito Komeda and the Destroyer of the World Blu-ray, a new Monokuma strap, a new Danganronpa V3 Academy for Gifted Prisoners investigation book, a Danganronpa calendar 2017, a soundtrack and cast comment CD, and an original custom theme download code. Interested? Well, good news, as we finally got a date to share with you as well. It looks like you'll be able to begin everyone's new semester of killing January 12th, 2017 in Japan. That's all for the news recap this week, which means it's time for a rundown of newly released trailers, the following titles having either a new trailer or new footage release since I last sent some vitality your way. Akiba's Beat, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk, Criminal Girls 2 Party Favors, Darkest Dungeon, Divine Prison Tower Mary Skelter, Fate Extello the Umbral Star, Idol Death Game TV, Minecraft, Super Dimension Neptune vs. Sega Hard Girls, Sword Art Online, Hollow Realization, World of Final Fantasy, and more. So those are the standout happenings from the last seven days. Make sure to check back here around this time next week for another new update of Vitality. Hit up the Vita Lounge for the full stories and all the bits I didn't cover. And of course, have a great week of Vita Gaming. See you next week, guys.